Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if a girl cheats on her boyfriend, she's a hoe. But if a guy cheats on his girlfriend, it's because he loves her. You know, he has to test it out, see if it feels bad or not. You know, like, girls don't really care about this, but guys do. And it's because body count matters way more for girls than it does for guys. Because, like, like, look, here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it to you this way, okay? If there is a key that opens up any lock, it's a master key, right? Yeah. Now, if there's a lock that gets opened up by any key, then what does it make it? It makes it a shitty lock. And like, when you really think about it, it makes a lot of sense. What's my body count? Um, to be honest, like, I kind of stopped like keeping track of it. Uh, and I don't really like remember too well, but I do like uh, keep track of all my kills and my notes with like ratings and shit, just in case if I ever want to hook back up with them again. So like, what's your body count? Oh, and then also too, like blowjobs count as bodies, so. Hey, <clears throat> do you mind if I pop a little zinner um, while we're waiting for our food? Yeah, I don't think I could ever date a girl that makes more money than me, because I just feel like, you know, I have like more traditional type of views where I feel like the guy should be the breadwinner. And wh what do I do for work? I, right now I'm just in between jobs. I got fired from my last job for, they, they actually got me vaping in the bathroom. I didn't know that was against fucking guidelines. I don't really like giving. I just feel like if my if my like shit works down there, why the fuck would I use my tongue? Please tell me that was a skit. That was a skit. That was a skit. That was a skit. And I don't I don't even know what happened. How did I give it? How did that even get it there? This is all LGBTQ. So I don't even know how that got and like forgive me for that. I don't even know how that got up in the nonsense. Like I don't even know. Hopefully that was a skit. We will go see if that was a skit. Their TikTok is up there. See if that's a skit. So I went on a really fun first date last night. Um it ended up in me canoodling at her place. So cute. Uh we wake up. Oh, I wake up. She's like in the kitchen sitting with a guy eating food. And I'm like, okay, interesting that she um has breakfast with her roommate, but like, I don't know, white people. Um, Not white people. Then he's like, it's so nice to meet you. I hope you guys like, had fun last night. My head, I was like, wait, who are you? And then she's like, hey, this is my boyfriend, Mike. Guys, I just... Whoa! Pause it, pause it. Because y'all know. It was a lesbian. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've dated enough bisexuals to know. This is why I don't date them. This is that that right there. You just saw it. That's why. That happens a lot. A lot. A lot. That's. Woo. Imagine if she had slept with her. Imagine that. She didn't even tell her she had a boyfriend. Imagine if she had slept with her. Imagine that. I can't even fit. Yes, I can because it's happened to me. It's happened to me. And it's just like, especially when I tell you up front, hey, I've been in open relationships. I really don't mind if you date other women. But if you're going to date a man, just let me know. Just let me know. Give me a heads up. And I can just exit gracefully. <laughs> I could just exit. You can do you. I'm not judging you. I just don't want to do that. I don't want to do you <laughs> if you're gonna do him. I don't want to. I don't want to do you if you're gonna be disrespectful to me. If you're not gonna respect my wishes, respect me. Like I don't want to do you if you're gonna do someone who has something. I don't want to do you. <laughs> like there's a list of things I don't want to do. I don't want to do you if you don't believe in. Like there's there's a list of things. A list of people that I don't want to do no one gets upset or offended when a straight man says they don't want to sleep with a gay guy no one gets upset or offended if that happens but the moment i say hey i don't want to do you if you it's, it's... ask this question as as a as a straight black woman if she would date a bisexual guy and then come back to me <laughs> 
People have done it. We see it on national TV. They don't want that. They don't like that. And it's just like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to them to be like, oh, no, I'm not going to do this. It's okay for a, a straight man to be like, oh, no, I'm not going to date a straight guy. I mean, a, a gay guy. It's completely okay. But the moment I say, hey, I've dated. I had my experiences with bi, bi women. And I'm just, I'm not for it. It's okay. Like, you do you. However, it's not for me. Like, it's okay. I, I still respect you. Like, I'm still, like, I'm not going to pass any judgment on you. You do you, honey. You do you. We can be friends. But that would have happened to me. And it did. I was highly upset. I was highly upset. Highly upset. I don't even talk to the person anymore because I was highly upset. Guys, I just got back from possibly one of the worst dates I've ever fucking been on. So I went to the sushi restaurant with this guy. It's the day before Thanksgiving, right? It's cuffing season. So me and this guy when I was born. go to the sushi. Cuffing season is what? Virgo season, wait, what? We're making Virgos, honey. Cuffing season is my favorite season because it's Virgo season. We making Virgos, we making Virgos, honey. She restaurant and we're 10 minutes into the meal. He notices that the people behind us are eating in a way that he thinks is disgusting. So he says to me, I wish those people would fall off a boat and suffocate at sea. Right. What? Like that You've only known me for 10 minutes and you're saying this? Okay. I'm just fucking baffled. So then I should have left the date, right? But Red flag. He's talking to me about how he loves being a furry and how he wants to be a dog 24-7. Oh my God. That was the second red flag because what are we doing? Don't get me wrong. I used to have friends that would walk around with tails and little ears. And I thought it was absolutely cute. But that was in high school. <laughs> at this age that I'm at right now. If I went on a date with somebody, they said they do that on the regular. <laughs> I would be like, no judgment, sweetie. But that's not for me. I don't want to date. Oh, well. <laughs> I was just about to say, I don't want to date a cat. But I, I lick them. Ah! However, it's just like, what is we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? No judgment. I'll actually, honestly, as a female, if she wore a tail and then she told me that she did that, I, I guess I would be okay with it. Like, you, you can't really have, like, standards. Like, the highest of standards nowadays. You gotta be like, okay, that's a little weird. But I'm a little weird. So I, I guess I can deal with this little weird that you got there. But the moment she start... <laughs> want to role play, play like that all the time oh i'm dead i'm dead like maybe what time if you ever you know now if you ever lick me like a kid and drinking milk oh we got a problem we got a big problem that's a big girl problem big girl problem because uh, i like to eat honey and i do a sloppy we making a mess we're gonna have it all over don't ever don't ever. so yeah that part but thank you guys for watching subscribe